Example 1, we're going to start looking at vector addition. So we're given the two vectors u and v, which are depicted below, and we're going to construct a graphical representation of u plus v. What this means is we have u, which is telling us to go this far in that direction, and v, which is telling us to go so far in this direction. What we see is that we have u plus v. So first, we're going to go in the direction of u for the distance of u. And then wherever we're at, we're going to tack on the direction of v with the distance of v. So we are basically taking the vector v and sliding it so that v's initial point is linked up with u's terminal point. We then can draw a vector from u's initial point to v's terminal point. This blue vector that I just drew, that vector is the vector of u plus v. So the whole process here is you start with vector u. Wherever u ends, wherever u's terminal point is, that's where you stick on v's initial point, and then you follow vector v. You then connect the very beginning to the very end, and that's your vector u plus v. All right, this does lead to some properties of vector addition and subtraction. For vector addition, if we have two vectors, so our vectors here we're going to look at are going to be u and v. And yes, you want to bold those. We can see that u plus v will actually give the same vector, so the vector will have the same magnitude in the same direction as v plus u. And let's also look at a vector w. If we have u plus v plus w, so if we add v and w first, this would be the same thing as if we added u and v together first. If we have a vector u and we add a zero vector to it, so if we don't go anywhere, this is the same as not going anywhere, and then adding the u, which is just the same thing as vector u. Lastly, if we have a vector u and we subtract the vector u, same thing as going out and back, same thing as u plus a negative vector u, which is the same thing as going nowhere. So that's the same thing as a zero vector. Those are all your properties of vector addition. We can also look at scalar multiplication. And for this, we're going to use, oh, shoot. There we go. For this, we'll use the scalars. So these are just numbers. But we use scalars c and k. Well, what we see then is that if we were to add u and v together and s then scale it by a scalar factor of c, this is the same as scaling u and scaling v separately and then adding them together. Let's say we were to use two scalars together. We were to scale u by c and then add it to scaling u by k. This is the same as adding our two scalars together and then scaling vector u. Also, if we were to scale u by k first and then scale it by c, this is the same thing as scaling, multiplying k and c together and then scaling u by that factor. If we used a scale factor of 1, this is the same thing as just having your vector. Also, if you use a scale factor of 0, this is the same thing as having a 0 vector. And then lastly, if we were looking at the magnitude of u when it's scaled by a factor of a. This is the same thing as just looking at the magnitude of u times the absolute value of a. So those are the nine properties that you should know about vector addition and subtraction. And then here's the basics of vector addition. If we were to do vector subtraction, all we would do is then send v in the opposite direction and that gives us u minus v.